Hi, welcome to this tutorial about the latest uh, version. We have now version 6.3.1, so this is still 6.2.1, where I am going to make the tutorial on. So we have this Arch Merge already in VirtualBox. We have loaded up 6.3.1, and let's make a video how to install it. So you just uh, burn the ISO on your USB, that's the best way to go, and then boot via BIOS to your USB environment, well, USB key, and then you're going to the live environment that we're going to see now. This is not intended to, to you can't see anything, it's ugly as hell, and that's intentional. We don't need to be here, we just need this rather very slim XFCE environment just to go through the motions of installing everything. So you just choose your language, from where are you, what is your keyboard, in my case Azerti, and then my uh, advice always use erase disk. Don't trouble yourself with manual partitioning or dual booting, it's frustrating enough. So, easy way is just doing this. And then three, one too much, voila. So Arch Merge 6.3.1, that's our ISO. And then next. So Arch Merge with a D, you can install any of these pictures, any of these this desktop environment. We have Arch Merged BSP WM, Awesome i3, XFCE, Budgie, Openbox, uh, Anything goes. Anything that can be installed on Arch Linux can be installed also on Arch Merged with a D. So the idea is to give you a base installation to skip the phase four, uh, which is, um, well, a clean install on a vanilla Arch Linux installation is phase four. So we're skipping the installation guide. That's what we're doing. We're ending up in an environment without um, a desktop environment without display managers, without uh, applications, so just the core um, base Arch Linux, which means it's below one gigabyte ISO. The other one, the Arch Merge, is one with two gigabytes with all the application themes, icons, conkeys, and so on. Everything is there, it's all themed. So that's the difference. Arch Merge is for fun. And Arch Merged is to learn. That's more or less the intention. So now we just boot up once. So you see, this is what you get. And that's it. There is no graphical environment whatsoever. It's just a black screen with some letters. And you have to command everything, you have to type everything to go on. And we use our scripts and the scripts are on uh, GitHub and we'll see that in the next tutorial.